Welcome to Duval Daily, presented by GinJag.com. I'm Jordan Luga. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Wednesday, October 9th. Some exciting news on the injury front for the Jacksonville Jaguars that we're going to get into. Reinforcements are on the way for the Jaguars, who have been without several of their key players over the last several weeks. And so we're going to get into that here today. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So Tyson Campbell, 21-day practice window is open. What exactly does that mean? It means the Jaguars have 21 days to activate Tyson Campbell from injured reserve who suffered a hamstring injury late in the week one loss to the Dolphins. Had he not suffered that injury, maybe the result of that game is a little different. Not sure. But the bottom line is Tyson Campbell, who did have a hamstring injury last year, came back a little bit too early. Doug Peterson said today that he's proud of how Tyson Campbell has attacked his rehab. And if you're a Jaguar fan, or if you're myself, I'm just hopeful that when Tyson Campbell does come back, he's 100%. And Doug Peterson said they're eyeing a potential return week seven, which is the Jaguars' second London game against the New England Patriots. So not going to be able to help you out against the Bears in all likelihood, which you, you could use some help covering those receivers. DJ Moore, Romo Dunze, Keenan Allen, but um, not going to see him this week. But he is coming back soon, which is great for the Jaguars, who need Tyson Campbell because it's a it's a ripple effect. Like Ronald Darby has struggled with true number ones so far uh, in Tyson Campbell's absence. So not only do you get Campbell to cover number ones, you now have Ronald Darby, who is a better cover player than Buster Brown, covering number twos, and then Buster Brown is now back to your third option at outside corner. It's a ripple effect that really helps the defense out in a big way, in my opinion. Uh, Tashawn Gibson will be traveling to London with the Jaguars. He's eligible to return from suspension following week six, so similar to how it played out last year with Cam Robinson traveling to London with the Jaguars. Tashawn Gibson, safety who, it's kind of crazy, you know, we haven't talked about him in a while, but the Jaguars brought him back in this offseason, a guy that had some really good years in Jacksonville and then um, played really well for the 49ers the last few years. Was suspended to start the year, but he's eligible to return week seven. I think the Jaguars have been struggling at safety. If you can get to Sean Gibson in there and start playing some better football, a guy who has so much experience, um. Maybe he can bring some stability to the back end. And now we don't know when Dewey, Andrew Wingard, could potentially be activated. We haven't gotten word on that, but it should be within the next few weeks. So maybe some stability back there at safety could really help you out, help this defense out. Um, Foye Lewican. He's out of his walking boot. He'll be eligible to return after week six. They're looking for him to make a return week seven or week eight. So week seven would again be that second London game. Week eight would be against the Packers. Either way would be good to get him back. Now, what's been impressive about the Jaguars defense, for the most part, they haven't really skipped a beat at the linebacker position. Like Ventrell Miller has been playing very well. Devin Lloyd's been playing very well. Chad Moom has been playing well. Foye Lukin's presence will make this defense better. There's no doubt about that in my mind. But from a linebacker position, they've been doing a pretty good job. So getting Foye back would be huge. And then Evan Ingram. uh, Very good chance he could be back this week against the Bears. He was close last week. They just got to continue to monitor it throughout the week of practice and see where he's at heading into the game on Sunday, which again, in London, 9.30 a.m. kickoff. He could be back for this one. And, And Evan Ingram's presence... Gives you what you saw um, against the Colts. You saw so much of Trevor Lawrence taking what's there underneath and using his knowledge of leverage to kind of throw guys open short, throw it, throw it to where only his guy can get it short underneath, keep the down and distance manageable, get in rhythm. Evan Ingram can help you with those things. He can also help you stretch the field. 
So I think that would be huge. And with the emergence of Britain Strange, you can now have a real uh, dynamic two-headed monster at tight end. You've got Christian Kirk starting to play some really good football for you. Brian Thomas Jr. playing really good football for you. So uh, that would be huge. And so it's good news for the Jaguars that they're potentially getting all these guys back in the next couple weeks. They desperately need help. Um, I think that they're starting to play better football. And overall throughout the year, like you look at what's happened. Played really good football for three quarters against the Miami Dolphins. I still firmly believe that if Doug Peterson didn't completely go into a shell in the fourth quarter, the Jaguars win that game. Um, so that was competitive ball game. Week two against the Browns, they should have won that game. Um, Trevor Lawrence had some issues early on. I thought that there were some offensive structure issues dealing with, with pressure, not always having outlets there for Trevor Lawrence, not always having the greatest play design in that game as well, uh, not always play sequencing making the most sense. So you lost that one as well, which is embarrassing now looking back at it. And then week three, uh, you have a big contest, and that does not go well. Week four, I mean, not go well is probably putting it extremely lightly. That was one of the most embarrassing losses in Jaguars history to the Bills. Week four, you almost beat the Texans. That was another game I think you should have won. I think that if Trevor Lawrence played a little bit better, um, if coaching was a little bit smarter on the offensive side, if you could have had Tyson Campbell out there covering Nico Collins, maybe you could have won that football game. Um, and then you beat the Colts in week five, finally getting that first win after a 0-4 and four start. The Jaguars got to 1-4. and four. And what you're worried about right now is still the secondary. I think that's the biggest concern. The offensive line is playing better. The pass rush is really getting heated up. Um, the receivers are playing fairly well. Outside of Gabe Davis, in my opinion, the receivers are playing very well. The running backs, they've gotten it going in a big way. You know, I think that, and again, Travis Holmes, credit to him for bringing this up. I think that Tank Bigsby needs to be your pound the rock guy and, and Travis Etienne be more of your move space receiving type back. And if you use them that way, I think you're going to see good results. And I think the more you can get Tank Bigsby on the field right now, the better because he's just playing incredibly well, especially in the run game. Um, so you're seeing a lot of the pe I mean, Trevor Lawrence played really well against the Colts, one of his best games of his career. He played really well against the Dolphins. He had a good half against the Browns. And um, he was up and down against the Texans, certainly. The entire team struggled against the Bills. So I think Trevor Lawrence has a chance here to start playing some better football. But two tough defensive tests um, against the Bears and against the Patriots. Two good defenses. So getting these guys back, maybe you can start start to get some things going. you got to win these two London games, though. And it starts with the Bears this weekend. Tough task. Rookie quarterback in London for the first time, so can take some solace in that, but it's not going to be easy covering those receivers, and the Bears defense presents a whole lot more problems than the Colts did last week, so we will see how it plays out, but the Jaguars are getting reinforcements here uh, in the coming weeks. Evan Ingram potentially this week, uh, Tyson Campbell, Tashawn Gibson, Foya Lewin can potentially week seven, and Dewey Wingard will be back as well at some point in the near future. Really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can also check out genjag.com slash shop, pick up some new Duval gear, become a channel member here on YouTube. Y'all have a good one.